Yeah, yeah, we, you know, we we should have had made some plays that cost us a couple of runs, and uh, uh, you know, we again we made it a game at the end, and that's one of the things I think that shows you these guys have not uh, just you know thrown in a towel. They're playing. They're playing all nine. Uh, Ahmed hasn't even been up here a month. At what point does it click that D Gordon's faster than you know the other guys in the lineup, and he needs to rush that play? D Gordon's faster than a lot of guys in baseball, not just this lineup. He learned a lesson. He won't have. I'm sure it won't happen again. He, uh, you know, you don't uh, you don't double pump when you when he's on when he's running down first base for sure. Mark, Terry, as you mentioned, that that's a lesson learned there. But like for a player in that spot. Do you, is it even worth saying anything? He knows at that point that this is a fast guy and that was a mistake that he made, right? Oh, yeah. He, I mean, but he was told, you know, and uh, it's just that he knew. I mean, after it happened, he was, you know, upset and certainly with himself and, uh, uh, you know, but he's, like you said, he learned it and he, I'm sure it won't happen again to him. And it, just to be clear, that's not the fact he doesn't know that D. Gordon's fast. Maybe that's more so just a focus thing in the moment. No, think? it's a habit. Daniel? Outside of Ahmed, there was some defensive plays that didn't, didn't get made. Does that give you any concern that your message maybe isn't getting across to these guys, the message you've been talking about as far as playing the game the right way? Well, if you're talking about Sessa's dropping the ball in left field, um, again, this guy is probably as good a left fielder as there is. He's got a gold glove to show for it. You know, they all make mistakes, but, um, you know, that's... Uh, you know, Flo made two diving, started to make two diving stops. I mean, I don't know what else you're talking about outside the, the drop fly ball in left field. Um, in the other plays, you know, they got to decide, can I catch it or can I catch it? So um, I think the message has been uh, come across perfectly clear, and they understand it. Mike. Terry, what did you think of Jacob's performance today, and do you think that, that any of the defense weighed on him at all uh, as you went along? Um, well, I, I don't know. I haven't, didn't talk to him about it, really. Um, you know, he, I, I, he might have been a little frustrated by, that we didn't make some plays. But, you know, Mike, uh, it's, a, it's the same message. Um, you talk about the message over here about playing the game right. Let me tell you, when you're pitching, you got to pitch. You can't worry about what's going on behind you. you got to pitch. And if, if there's not plays made, you got to pitch around it once in a while. It's the same when, you know, a guy makes an error. You know, they don't stop trying to make plays when you hang sliders. So uh, you got to keep pitching. Is there, is there any evidence at all that he, he's hitting any kind of wall here? I mean, this is his second straight start. He wasn't hip, kind of himself. Um, that could, those are things that certainly could point to some stuff like that. Whether or not it is a fact, we don't know. But, uh, um, you know, at this point in the season, you know, after – Again, missing what he did last year at the end of the, at the end of the season, he's you know he's trying to certainly get 200 innings. I know that's a big part of what he wants to do this year, and um, that's why, to be honest, at this particular time, I think saying he addressed it one day when he said we're going to be careful with him down the stretch, and you know he's he always is deep in the game, and there might be a little fatigue in there. He hasn't complained about it, but uh, there's certainly uh, that possibility. Chris. Terry, when you say it's a habit with Ahmed, what what exactly is that? Is that waiting on the ball, double clutching, or double, just the double the pat pat of his glove? Mm -hmm. That's a habit. And then I guess is it just a reminder to kind of get him out of that, or what exactly? Well, he'll needs be to reminded to get out of that, especially when there's guys like D Gordon running down the bases. You got to get it and throw it. You don't have a lot of time to do anything else. And then with Travis, how much do you think you know Kevin's arrival? Uh, you know. And the competition there is going to affect him going forward, and you know, are you encouraged by what you saw from? Yeah, him I mean, you know, I said the other night, you know, before the night before Ploiecki got here, you know, they, the, against this, these guys, they, I mean, Kevin hit the ball or Travis hit the ball as good as anybody. But I think the little friendly competition is good, motivates you as the, as you head down the last six weeks.